146 river miles up the Columbia from the Pacific Ocean and roughly 40 minutes from Portland, Oregon, you'll find the Bonneville Dam, the first dam that Chinook, Coho, Steelhead, and other fish come to as they make their way to their native spawning beds or hatcheries further upriver. To pass the dam, they must conquer an impressive ladder system. Here, let's take a look. This is where visitors can watch these mighty protein torpedoes fight their way through the torrent that is the fish ladder. Watch closely and you'll see a salmon make its way over a rung near the top of this section, right here. Now that was pretty tough to see and not as epic as this, so rewind if you missed it. The ladder system is designed to make it as easy as possible for the fish to pass so they don't need to leap many feet at a time, expending precious energy. They can do it for sure, but it takes a toll, and the salmon on the Columbia have much further to travel than many other rivers. The real gem of this visitor center, though, is definitely being able to view these big beautiful beasts at eye level from the underwater viewing area. It's awesome. Man, that is a nice wild fish right there. Jeez. That is a dandy. Now many of you know, but for those of you that don't, you can spot the wild salmon as those still have their adipose fins. These fins right here. Today, the 19th of September, 2023, over 5,600 Chinook steelhead. and over 500 Steelhead, 116 of which of them are wild, passed the dam. Steelhead tail, change my mind in the comments below. <laughs> Hatchery fish have their adipose fins clipped before they are released as fry or smolt, like this one here. The white line halfway down this hen is where she was caught in a gill net, but escaped. Steelhead. I don't know if we were lucky or good, but we saw several steelhead today. How about this one here? Is it a hatchery or a wild fish? Let me know in the comments below. I even saw a bass. Is that a smallmouth? I don't bass fish, so you gotta tell me what I'm looking at here. Anyway, once they make it past all this man-made baloney, they're back in the Columbia River. If they can make it past all of the fishermen stacked up at the mouth of each of these tributaries and past the native fishermen exercising their historical rights and more white water, then the wild ones can spawn and the hatchery fish will be harvested to keep the cycle moving. And speaking of hatcheries, if you want to see my video on salmon returning to the Bonneville fish hatchery, watch this video here.